We hope you enjoy this clip. Before you watch it, please hit that subscribe button. I have to follow up something because you just said I'm a dick. And I want to, <laughs> I want to tell this brief little conversation please. I had with Ryan Rucco. So Ryan and RJ and I have worked a ton of games together this year. And earlier in the season, it was probably after our fifth or sixth game, he was like, you know, I just, I'm really vibing with you guys. He's like, you know, RJ, you know, he's kind of like sarcastic and he's, he's kind of a dick. And then you're kind of like silly, funny. And I thought to myself, this motherfucker does not know me. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Really, really crazy people can spot it. And it's like, they're like, because people are like, hey, what do you think? Because you get after people on first take, right? Yeah. In a great way. I love it. And that's why I think, you know, people are starting to see how intelligent you are, how prepared you are, which I love. I hate first take. Not and the show is amazing. Yeah. I'm just not good at that. I'm good at being a smart ass about the shit that I'm a smart ass about. I'm not great at like the debate show style, like you, Stephen A, Perk, you know, Ryan Clark, like you guys are great at it, but that's not my thing. Isn't some of it not being a dick as much as just intense and people can't, some people can't handle intensity. Mm. No, there's a dickness that comes, there's, certainly there, a dickness, there's a dickness that comes with a Duke person believing that they're right. Right. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It's like he, his dig is like, oh, no, no, no. I'm right. And I'm going to prove it. And so that's where my intensity comes from. I've heard this a lot. I've heard this a lot that I think that I'm right all the time. I didn't. There are many. This, there this are not, many. This is not no, therapy. Hold on. It's not therapy, man. I don't you know. No, there are many days on first take <laughs> or even on the podcast. Well, I'll say something and I'll think about it because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm self-critical and I'll think about it and be like, man, I think I was wrong on that. Or I think I should have done that a different way. I don't always think I'm right. I'm just right. Like 96, 97% of the yeah, time. Yeah. And we have the same, we have the same percentage of being right. The difference is, is when I process, if I'm wrong, I don't care. I just want to piss people off from not like changing my stance. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, fuck it. Yeah, I still believe this. What are you going to do about it? Be right? an instigator. Yes. Um, what was Gil like fucking at Arizona? Crazy. He's fucking crazy. <laughs> like, I'm not a normal person. No one looks at me and looks at my behavior and says like, oh, Richard's normal. Gilbert was 12 steps yeah. further than that at all. Can you get your up to the mic a little bit? Yeah, there you go. Uh, I, was, I wasn't speaking. <laughs> well, no, you said, yeah. I don't think the mic caught that. We can edit it in post. Don't worry about it. <laughs> No, Gil Gilbert, this is the thing about Gilbert. He's a fucking sweetheart. Gilbert really is. Like his energy and his joy, it's real. But there's also something missing. And I don't know what it is. And I love him to death. And but I don't like Gil lives in LA. I might see him, I might not. I get try to get him on the podcast. The podcast was two hours late and we were in a studio at Spectrum Sports. And it's just it's just Gil. And and the sooner you accept him for who he is and keep your distance, the better off everyone will be. Yeah. I, I had him as a teammate. <laughs> for for uh, a year ish. How was that? A year ish. I particularly enjoyed him yeah. as a teammate. Um, we were in transition. Yeah. In terms of uh, like Dwight kind of wanting to get out. Um, there were probably guys, Gil included, who didn't really fuck with Stan. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite Gil story is we're like, we make the trade. I don't know, uh, 20 games into the season, we make the trade for Gil, Jay Rich, and then we got Turk back. Mm -hmm. And so Vince is out, Richard's out, Gortat was out, and we're probably like a, a month to six weeks later. And Stan, this is still when we're like knee pads and tape for hour and a half shoot arounds, and we're going live in the morning, the day of a game. Love it. And at some point, like Jill, I, we're in the training room, and Gil's like talking to Stan. He's like, listen, you can have me for the game or you can have me for shoot around. You can't have me for both. Yeah. <laughs> and Stan's like, well, if you don't do shoot around, you can't play in the game. And he's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See that. So then, so then we would drive by the arena like at night because it was downtown and Gil would be in there at like 1030 playing one on one with the boys. <laughs> yes. Like that's the one thing about like. Uh, I, I saw Mike Tyson was talking about Mayweather, right? And he was like, hey, say what you want about Mayweather. His addiction is the gym. Like he might have some other, Gilbert was the same way. There is never, you will never find a single person that would ever question his work ethic. Like his work ethic was epic. Like in the gym, you know, I think there was a, he tried to make a million shots during one off season. He, you know, beat Deshaun Stevenson shooting one hand college threes. If you know, like he was like, Gilbert was such a student of the game. He's hyper intelligent. He, his work ethic is 10 out of 10. And so 
it's the other shit that would always like his his humor and his sarcasm and his inability to process the moment and read a fucking room. If you don't tell your coach, okay, I'm not unless you're Trey Young, then you can tell your coach like I'm not doing shoot around. Why are you looking at me like that? No, it's funny because uh, this is the second time in two days that we've taken a really hard shot at the Hawks. <laughs> the Hawks. I did their game last night. We hope you had fun with us today. We hope you laughed. We hope you had fun with us today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button.